Life often feels like a constant race, an endless pursuit of goals and achievements that keeps us always on the move. In this relentless pace, it's easy to get trapped in what feels like hamster wheels, repetitive cycles that offer little genuine progress or fulfillment. Through my experiences, I've learned a profound truth. When we veer away from our true path or dreams, the universe is always working to guide us back. It's like the universe is a wise teacher, constantly trying to steer us toward fulfilling our destiny. When we pay attention to its signs and make the right choices, life flows effortlessly, and everything seems to fall into place. But when we ignore these signs, the universe has to intervene more forcefully, often presenting obstacles and challenges that force us to stop and reconsider our path. Many of us, including myself, have learned life's most valuable lessons the hard way. One of the biggest lessons I've learned is the importance of avoiding negative thought patterns and the mental hamster wheels that trap us. These cycles of passive-aggressive thoughts and behaviors only bring more pain and suffering. To live a more fulfilling and aligned life, it's essential to pay attention to the signs the universe sends. Let's look at three significant hamster wheels that the universe wants you to escape today. First, we have the wheel of egoism. Egoism is an excessive focus on oneself, often to the detriment of others. It manifests as a relentless drive to prove yourself, to stand out, and to be seen as superior. This self-centeredness traps you in a cycle of superficiality, leading to mediocrity. This mediocrity, in turn, feeds the ego, creating a vicious cycle, a hamster wheel of egoism that keeps spinning. When you're focused only on yourself, you can't truly appreciate the depth of life. To break free from this wheel, you need to clear the fog from your eyes and see reality for what it is. Think of life as a video game where you need to level up your mercy points to progress. By showing kindness and understanding to others, you can grow and begin to see life more deeply. As Saint Augustine wisely said, there is no sin that one person commits that another is not capable of. This reminds us that, given the right circumstances, we could all make the same mistakes. Therefore, we must not harshly judge others, because the errors we see in them could just as easily be our own if we were in their shoes. In life, you're either a hunter or prey. Both roles require you to run, either toward your goals or away from danger. Mistakes are inevitable. But recognizing this shared human experience fosters empathy, allowing you to escape the wheel of egoism and live a more meaningful life. The lesson here is simple. Don't criticize the executioner today, because tomorrow the roles could reverse. The universe constantly tries to teach us this lesson for our own growth. If you don't learn to accept and forgive the flaws of others, you will struggle to find someone who can love you despite your imperfections. As we go through life, our bodies age, we get sick, and we make mistakes, especially when under pressure. To truly love someone, we must accept their flaws, and that acceptance must start with ourselves. If we can't accept our own imperfections, we can't expect to truly love or be loved by others. As we age, we need more acceptance and love from those around us, not rejection. The universe encourages us to cultivate mercy so that we see others with the eyes of our hearts. When we do, others will see us the same way. The second hamster wheel is the wheel of problems. The issue with problems is that the more you focus on them, the more they seem to multiply. Problems are like dogs. Some bark loudly but rarely bite, while others are silent yet deliver a painful bite when you least expect it. The silent problems are the ones we tend to overlook or avoid, such as health checkups we've been postponing, like that dental appointment or overdue conversation with a parent or partner. These problems don't make much noise, but if ignored, they can cause significant harm to your well-being and peace of mind. Addressing them early on can prevent much pain in the future. Then there are the noisy problems, the ones we constantly complain about, like frustrations with the state of the world, baseless jealousy, or worrying about gaining a few extra pounds before a big event. We often give these problems more attention than they deserve, 
letting them consume our thoughts and energy. When we focus too much on these noisy issues, we lose sight of the bigger picture. Life is fleeting, and if we spend too much time worrying about minor problems, we miss out on the moments that make life meaningful. The best approach is to stop stressing over these noisy problems and instead focus on preventing the silent ones. This shift helps you live with less stress and be more present in the moment. You always have a choice. You can live a life full of overwhelm and stress or you can choose to live an extraordinary life. The key lies in knowing how to stop worrying about things that aren't truly problems. One way to do this is to think of your mind as a movie projector. Your reality is like a movie projected on a screen, reflecting your thoughts back to you. By changing your thoughts, you can alter your reality, just like switching the TV channel. Shift your focus to positive, constructive thoughts and practice gratitude by recognizing the good things in your life. In life, only two things can truly stop you, death and yourself. More often than not, we are our own biggest obstacles standing in our way with negative thoughts and worries. Don't be the one blocking your own path, and things will go well. Another cycle that keeps you stuck is the hamster wheel of appearances. We often spend too much energy worrying about how others see us, and this constant concern drains us. We become obsessed with being viewed as winners and fear being labeled as losers. This fear drives us to chase society's version of success, all in an attempt to feel valid and worthy. But while this mindset may lead to achieving a lot, it doesn't bring true happiness. You could reach the top, living in a mansion surrounded by luxury, but if deep down you feel worthless due to an inferiority complex, you'll never find peace or contentment. Your internal struggles will overshadow any external success. Think about it. If you're always worried about how others perceive you, you'll end up on a treadmill that never stops, always running but never reaching fulfillment. The more you try to impress others, the further you drift from your own true desires and values. You might hit society's standards of success, but at what cost? Your inner happiness and self-worth can't be measured by external achievements. This obsession with appearances turns what you think is an ascent into a descent into personal misery. It's like climbing the ladder of success, only to realize each step leaves you feeling heavier, turning what should be a climb into a slide down into despair. The universe doesn't want you to get trapped in the hamster wheel of appearances. It wants you to see that you don't need so much to be happy. Many of the things you think you need are just illusions mental traps, or what I call hamster wheels, that keep you distracted from true happiness. These imaginary needs make you spend your life feeling unfulfilled, convincing you that you're not enough. But let me tell you something crucial. You are worth a lot. Your worth isn't tied to labels, possessions, or the number in your bank account. It's not about the car you drive or the house you live in. Your real value comes from within, from your unique self, if you didn't exist, none of those external things would matter. Your existence is what gives everything else meaning. So when the universe throws you a curveball and takes something material away, don't get angry or upset. Maybe what the universe really wants is for you to understand that the only thing you truly need to be happy is yourself. When you lose something material, it's an opportunity to realize that your happiness doesn't depend on those things. It's a reminder that your true worth is internal. It's essential to realize that everyone has their own path and chasing someone else's version of success will only lead you further from your own happiness. Find what truly matters to you and pursue it passionately. Not because it will make you look successful to others, but because it brings you joy and satisfaction. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you're still here, Leave a comment and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Stoicism Stoic. Wishing you a beautiful day.